back. This is uh, Elena from MetalRadio.gr. I'm here with uh, the leader of the French modern metal band Dagoba. Hello, nice to have you here. Sauter, how... <laughs> Hello, Elena. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the reason we're talking is uh, your new album, By Night, which is coming out on uh, February 18th on Napalm Records. Uh, let's begin by the new release. Tell me a few things about it. Having listened, ni- listened to it and having seen the first three videos, I think there's um, a more melodic side, a softer side maybe a less aggressive side. Tell me about it. Tell me about what we're going to listen in by night. Uh, Well, actually, um, we wanted to develop on this uh, record uh, our um, electronic uh, love uh, and, uh, yeah, push in front of our music, the synth part. And we also uh, really wanted to uh, put all the choruses as the highlights of each song. And yeah, that's what people can expect from this record. Since electro and massive choruses. Is it something that has to do with the new lineup of the band or is it something that you always wanted to do? No, it's no, no, no. It's uh, something I always wanted to do. And actually, we always added some electro-industrial part in our song. It's just like uh, on this album, the rates of synth part are the same, but the riffs are a little bit clearer. So it's more um, uh, easy to uh, li- to have a clear listen to the synth part and all the gimmicks. Uh, but yeah, the main goal of Dagoba is when we compose a new album is uh, not to receive, not to repeat the same recipe over and over again. So we change, yeah, a little bit of this, a little bit of that on each of our album to make them all unique. So yeah, by night is another face of Dagoba. Mm-hmm. Do you think that this is going to open you up, guys, for a bigger audience, a more, um, I don't know, uh, an audience that has hadn't listened to Dagoba before? Mm, I really don't know. I mean, uh, uh, I don't, I don't know the the receipt to have a bigger audience. You know, <laughs> it's like, do you have the receipt to have a, <laughs> to get rich? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I, I I don't I don't sing like that. I just I just want to compose and play the music I want to listen at, and that other bands are not offering. That's it. If people like it, it's good. If they don't, at least I do. I see. Tell me about the music in uh, the new album. Tell me about the music in By Night. How did the inspiration strike? How did you come to the compositions? What inspired you? Mm, first of all, uh, when I start to compose an album, I just uh, listen to a previous record so I know what I don't want to do again. I don't like to repeat myself. So it gave me a starting line. And then, yeah, I just grab my guitar, start to record some riff. And, and then I start to compose the arrangements. and. Sometimes I go to some scenes, sometimes to some classical instruments. And yeah, since there, I have a base of a basement of what uh, the band uh, can offer at, at the time. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and then I send the preposition to, to the band member and we start talking, yeah, we like this direction, we don't like it, this one, we want to go a bit further in that direction, and since there we, we start to develop this uh, this new direction, and that's pretty much how it works. For them. Um, 
lyrics is it's always been the same uh, amount of uh, love and pretty much death. I talk 80 percent about love and 20 percent about time, life, and of course death. Do you have you received feedback uh, from the videos so far from your fans? What are the messages you you have been getting from them? Oh, uh, actually, yeah, I would say, to be honest, um, I would say 99% are very happy with what they are listening to. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe because, they, I, hopefully because they like it, and maybe also because it's been five years since we didn't propose anything, so we're, so we were, they, will, they, they were maybe missing us a little bit. And 1% are just like, hey, this is too poppy, and we don't want some more scenes, and we don't want you to evolve as a band. But I mean, it's common to every band. When you propose a new album, you always have the, the oldest and hardcore fan that say, we don't want you to change, we don't want you to change. And yeah, that's it, but it's only 1%, so it's okay. They, they still have our, our oldest record to have pleasure to listen at. Tell me about the the production, the mixing, the mastering, if you have any influences in it. Mm, yeah, actually I record all our album in my studio, but uh, I always send uh, the mix and the mastering to another guy because they know better how to deal with that and I I like fresh, fresh years to work on the mix and because when you record an album you spend like months on it and at the end you don't know where you want to go anymore you know you just like uh, you. so you need some 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 somebody to to take care about this uh, and on this one uh, we we confide the mix to Chris Coulter in London which actually is not a metal uh, producer uh, but but you know how to deal with a lot uh, with songs with a lot of layers with a lot of instruments and a lot of vocals line so yeah we send him the mix master and he did a fantastic job actually to tell you the truth having listened to the album i think that he did i think thank that you um tell me about uh, your favorite moments in the album i mean my favorites were uh, Sunfall, The Last Crossing, which were more, you know, close uh, to my heart. What about you? Do you have any favorites so far? Mm, yeah, um, my favorites are probably uh, Summer's Gone, uh, Nightclub, and City Lights. Because of uh, the music or because yeah. of the lyrics? Yeah, because of the... I don't know, City Lights, I like it because of the rock and roll tempo and mood. Uh, Nightclub, I like it because it's a very heavy song. I think it's, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's the heaviest song we, we wrote since uh, maybe two or three albums. I mean, talking about tempo, it's very heavy and low, low tempo. And Summer's Gone because, yeah, I think it's the best song I ever wrote in my life. Uh, I think it's everything I can do at my best today. Electro, the gimmick, the, yeah, martial riffing, uh, the, the chorus and the classical ending. I mean, it's all Dagoba in one song, but at its best because it has been done today, so we are hopefully better than we were when we were young. So, yeah, that's my favorite song. It's been quite a ride since 1997. Do you have any regrets? Is there anything that you would change in your course? Uh, uh, yes, I think... Uh, I think... I would have, uh, back in the days, in the lineup, I had some guy that were thinking music by like, not as a team. The band wasn't a team. They saw that 
a band could be the biggest because you have the best drummer, the best singer, the best guitar player, and the, and I think I didn't. I uh, I think I would have changed that guy way before I I, I did because I think the most important is the teammates. It's not being the best element on each um, post. Between, between the members. Yeah, you yeah. Know, working as a team. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. With the no touring, was it creative? Can how how did you experience that? How was it for you as an artist? Yeah, at, at the beginning it was creative at the first lockdown because we were uh, uh, finishing the composition of uh, By Night, and then we started the process of production, so it was creative. Mm -hmm. But at the end, when all the whole album was done and the hard work too, yeah. We started uh, to, yeah, really get annoyed by not being able to to get back on the road. You know, what I mean, because it was it's our first, it's, it's our only income today. We are not selling c CDs, also, you know. So we have to go on tour, and we miss going on tour. And yeah, so yeah, we can't wait to get back there. It has been a bit too long now. This. Oh. You have a new album in your hands, so I'm guessing you have some touring plans. Yeah, have? yeah. What are your plans so far? Can you tell? Uh, me? We are we are about to get back on a European tour with Infected Rain from April to May. Mm -hmm. uh, then, of course, the big summer festival like the Resurrection, the Vertigo Rock, the Summer Breeze, and, and so on. And then we will work on the US, Asia. And of course, getting back to Europe to promote the album. Mm -hmm. The Goba is a band that's quite modern. How would you describe the your fans? Are they more young? Do you have an older audience? How do how do fans respond? I mean, when you're in a festival, you probably have some guys that are there for some more old school metal, and you're modern. How how does that I don't know how do, how do you, how's the chemistry between you and fans that are kind of skeptical towards modern bands. Uh, actually, I I don't know because when while on stage uh, the set list is com is made by song from our first album, the second, the third, the, all of our album, and we picked some. The most brutal uh, song from, for example, our first album. We take some more poppy song from our previous album. Maybe we will take some, yeah, industrial song from uh, By Night. I don't know. So at the end, we build the set list to be like a, an interesting moment and experience. And at the end, yeah. People feel the energy of the band, and that they don't really think about, hey, was it a whole trash band or a modern metal band? They don't care. They know that they felt the power and are just like, yeah, it's it's been a good metal show. I think that's the most important. And at the end, as I tend to say to people, see all my CDs there. You know, I'm a yeah. metal, I'm a metalhead, and I have. I have Deftones, Slayer, ACDC, Rammstein, Demo Borgir. And I think the same for you. You're not listening to only Iron Maiden and, you know, you we 
as a metalhead, we li we are listening to all kind of metal at the end. I do, of course, some few metalhead are just listening to, for example, progressive metal, and that's it, you know. But it's very rare, you know. You, we tend to be open-minded in metal, so it's okay. I see. Um, if you could uh, introduce the album to the listeners who are about to listen to it, what would be the one thing that you'd tell them to notice? Um, you're gonna listen to something you never heard for any band you've heard before. That's impressive. <laughs> Okay, having listened to the album, I'd say that it is quite original. It is quite a leap of faith. You are yeah. being about it. Do you feel that it's going to take you places? It's going to lead you a step further? I don't know. I hope so. I hope so, I hope so. but I, uh, I mean, if not, I would be happy to have composed this album, to have produced this album, and I would be happy if my life won't change because Actually, as a metalhead, I'm very happy. We, I mean, we are producing album on great label. We are touring. We are meeting fans from all around the world. I mean, it's the dream has already came true. You know what I mean? So I see. even if we stay the same, it's okay. You know, life is beautiful. <laughs> 